so my hair looks kind of crazy I took a shower so it's all kind of wet and weird anyway the yesterday was such a fun day we had a bonfire outside my dad and I are fusing plastic I had some meetings one for my new job that starts this week school your adventures it's funny that my week off from school for Thanksgiving break I'm starting a new job <laughs> but I'm really really excited for it and yeah it was just a really fun day I actually edited my vlog like by one I was done editing my vlog by one which what blew my mind <laughs> which was really cool and yeah it was just a really fun way to start the break we met with our new digital marketing intern and we were just throwing out all these ideas for logos and what we're doing with social media and just a lot of really great stuff so she's amazing her name is Jana and she is just this great energy and has all these ideas and we're really really excited to work with her so we had her join the team Wednesday and yesterday was our first official meeting so we're focusing on Instagram first and really getting that up and running we're gonna introduce a new logo introduce a new whole new theme and marketing strategy and I'm really really excited we're gonna create a Facebook so a lot of really really cool exciting things are coming with that as well so yeah it's just been a really exciting week last week went by so quickly but it was amazing and so I need to kind of think about what I want to happen this next week off on break I have a lot of ideas what I want to do but yeah I'm just gonna jump into it start doing some emails and see where today takes me and see where I, I'm really tired today because yesterday was just a full day it was full of fun stuff but it was still a full day so I need to rest today since tomorrow's gonna be another busy day I'm really excited so let's get this week started so I officially start my new job today with School Yard Ventures. I am so, so excited. I'm jumping on a call right now with my new boss, Scott, and we're gonna run through where they are at in the curriculum because later today I'm jumping on their first class. So I am just so very excited to celebrate. I am wearing my new patch that Michelle sent me. It's a cute little heart, absolutely freaking adorable. And I ironed it on this weekend. And so I'm gonna be representing Upcycle Design. So yeah, it's gonna be a really fun day. I have several meetings and then the class. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> All right, it is time for my first class working for Schoolyard Ventures, and I am just so freaking excited. Yeah, I'm just, just, ah, this is what I do when I'm excited. I go like this. That's where I'm at, so let's do it. All right, we're done the first class. Yay! It was so much fun. I can't even describe how excited I am. The kids were so cute and sweet. It reminded me of when I was in high school and I was just like eager about the world. I love their energy and their enthusiasm and excitement. It just like fires me up and gets me really excited. And so I am just so excited. A lot of the kids are interested in YouTube actually. They were interested in content creation or working on like thumbnail graphics or it was just really fun. So they had a lot of questions about YouTube and what I've been doing and obviously I'm no expert. So I was like, please help me. <laughs> if you can I don't know what I'm doing the majority of the time they are just so amazing and I am so excited to be able to spend a school year working with them on their passions and their ideas and their I just I'm so excited I wasn't sure what to expect because you know online classes are so hard and very difficult but they just blew away whatever expectations I had they were just the best they were super engaged and they were you could tell by their facial expressions they were listening and smiling and nodding and that's like the kind of validation that i need and that i appreciate and they were doing that and i was just like oh y'all have my hearts already i'm so excited to like support you all and mentor you all and get you all out there in the world and pursuing their dreams and their passions so i'm just so so freaking excited for this new job this is like i just feel like it was like meant to be and i'm where i want to be and where i need to be and where i'm yeah meant to be i'm just oh, I'm so excited all right i'm gonna go eat lunch so yeah i'm really excited the rest of the day is just like fun stuff i'm hanging out with two friends but <laughs> before i can do that i need to do some more emails and some work because I, I really didn't get a lot of work done today so let me go do that <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing, one of the students is working with content creators, with YouTubers on graphics and thumbnails and, and just hearing about their challenges. And he actually gave me advice. He it ha is on this Discord channel called NewTubers, I think. It's new YouTubers and small content creators. And so he sent me the Discord link, so I'm gonna join that that uh, Discord so I can start learning from other small content creators because I don't I don't know many. And that was one of my goals was to, to kind of start talking with other ones and get feedback and advice and different stuff so 
thank you so much to that student who, who gave me more information because he totally helped me as well. So I really appreciate it. These, these students are just, it's a two-way street and they're giving me so much, as much as hopefully I'm giving them. So yeah, it was really cool, really cool moment. <laughs> So a quick update about the level of curriculum. We have really been struggling with insurance. Apparently the warehouse, even with the virtual program, needs insurance and originally Newcastle County was going to cover that, but then because they didn't have any hand in the direct programming, they couldn't. And now I don't really know where we're at. Like it's just been very confusing back and forth. I think that Newcastle County is gonna cover it with a grant. It would be around $500 for insurance, but we keep going back and forth with, right now we're talking to their insurance agent, I guess, Kevin, and we're working with him and answering questions, but it's just been like very confusing. And I know we had a 15 day grace period after the program started, but it's Monday today and by Tuesday, or not Tuesday, by, Friday, I believe it will have been the 15 day grace period. So it's just kind of been kind of a constant like stressor and thing that makes us nervous because we both spent a lot of time on this curriculum and for it to not go through because of insurance would really suck. So anyway, that's just been a little bit of a frustrating thing that's going on with the insurance and yeah, we'll see where it ends up, but we're trying to stay positive and excited about what is to come. So focused on the good and not the stressor that's just like in the background. So anyway, all right. <laughs> All right, so today is gonna to be a fun day. Still filled with meetings, but I'm talking with a nonprofit in Philly called Cradles to Crayons that works with like infants and, and young children that don't have clothing to keep them warm in the winter. So they accept donations, but they do have some donations that they can't use. And they're wondering if that some of that clothing they can donate to us so they don't have to just throw it away. So, you know, it might have like a hole in it or something. And so it obviously wouldn't keep someone warm and they don't have time to like repair it or something. So I'm really, really excited. I'm chatting with the development director, I believe, from that nonprofit. And then we have a coffee meeting for Spill the Beans, the startup I'm working on. And I'm meeting with Ryan, my mentor. And then I'm hanging out with my friend Kim tonight. So it is going to be a fun day. I was actually just doing some homework this morning as well. And yeah, I'm feeling good and ready to take on the day. <laughs> All right, so I just talked to Ashley Jones. She is the head of channel of Cocoa Butter at BuzzFeed, which is a new channel celebrating black culture and black lives. And it, it was just so amazing to talk with her. She has this incredibly diverse career of working in production and she worked in like the business side of the industry and the in the field side. And so she had so many just absolutely incredible and amazing ideas and feedback of how to grow my channel and how to kind of think about things differently and just she had just so many great tips and advice and she was just such a sweet person and I really 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 appreciated her taking the time to chat with me because I know she's incredibly busy or you know starting a new channel I mean Coco Butter I think sent out his first video in October so they're very very new with BuzzFeed and it was she was just so nice and so anyway so I just am on cloud nine right now and she just had great advice and she said if I have any questions I can you know email her questions she said she might have someone else on the as is team that I could talk to about my interests. She was just such a sweet person. So ah, I'm just on cloud nine and so happy. <laughs> What a great way to start my day. So now I am teaching and class leader in the School Year Adventures class. And then I'm meeting with a student from that class one-on-one. -on -one. Then I'm meeting with a friend leader, Evan from the Bento Society. And tonight, Michelle and I are having a meeting. So the rest of the day, this is what I was like most nervous for because meeting someone new and she is just so inspirational. And so I was so nervous to meet her, but she was just so sweet and put me at ease and I felt a lot better. So yeah. This is my this is what I do when I'm excited and I'm so excited right now. <laughs> All right, let me go do more work. All right, so I just topped off uh, my second class with Schoolyard Adventures, and the kids are just so amazing. I love hearing about their victories. One student, their first interview was today, so they're interviewing someone about music, and he said he felt really great afterward, and it was amazing, because I know the first one can always be the scariest, talking to someone that you don't know. But he did so well, and it was just, it was so much fun hearing all of their advancements and just all their growth, so it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, now I have meetings set up with some of the students one-on-one -on -one over the next week and so I'm really excited to chat with them more. <laughs>